Hello, guys. Welcome back to Omalibi Channel, where you can learn more interesting information about your favorite actors and athletes. In today's video, let's take a look at the career and some interesting facts about actor Lawrence Fishburne. Lawrence John Fishburne III is an American actor, playwright, producer, screenwriter, and film director. Born on July 30, 1961, in Augusta, Georgia, United States. Critically hailed to his forceful, militant, authoritative figures in one of Hollywood's most talented and versatile performers. He has been the recipient of numerous awards, including the number of NAACP Image Honors, with appearances in movies like The Matrix Trilogy, Boys in the Hood, Apocalypse Now, and the John Wick film series. Fishburne solidifies legacy as a truly diverse and welcome performer. Fishburne was the son of Lawrence John Fishburne Jr., a juvenile corrections officer, and Hattie Bell Fishburne, a junior high school mathematics and science teacher. After his parents divorced during his childhood, he moved to his mother to Brooklyn, New York, where he was raised. Fishburne is a graduate of Lincoln Square Academy in New York, which closed in the 1980s. At the age of 10, the young boy appeared in his first play, In My Many Names and Days, at a cramped little theater space in Manhattan. He continued on but managed to avoid the trappings of his child star per se, considering himself more a working child actor at the time. Building himself as Clara Fishburne during his early phase, he never studied or was trained in the technique of acting. Fishburne married actress Ashna Omos in 1985. They have two children, son Langston and daughter Montana Fishburne. Ashna and Lawrence divorced in the 1990s. Fishburne dated the actress Victoria Dillard from 1992 to 1995. Fishburne met actress Gina Torres and they were engaged in February 2001 and married on September 22, 2002. The daughter, Belilah, was born to the couple in June 2007. On September 20, 2017, it was confirmed that Torres and Fishburne were separated and had been keeping the separation private for the last year. Fishburne filed for divorce on November 2, 2017, and the divorce was finalized as effective May 2011, 2018. In 1973, at the age of 12, Young Lawrence won a recurring role on a daytime soap, One Life to Live, 1968. This sequel made his film debut in the ghetto-themed Cornbread, Earl and Me, 1975. Fishburne emerged on the scene after famously lying about his age to Francis Ford Coppola in order to land a prominent part in the director's seminal Apocalypse Now, 1979. One of Fishburne's most famous roles came in 1991, when it stars Jason Styles and John Singleton's coming-of-age drama, Boys in the Hood. Where's portrayal of I Turner and Rust Love got to deal with it? 1993, Fishburne was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actor. He won a Tony Award for Best Featured Actor in a Play, where his performance in Two Trains Running, 1992, and an Emmy Award for Outstanding Guest Actor in a Drama Series with his performance in Trebekah, 1993. Fishburne became the first African American to portray Othello in a motion picture by a major studio when he appeared in Oliver Parker's 1995 film adaptation of the Shakespeare's play. Toward the end of the decade, Fishburne achieved iconic status with his zen-like performance as a leather-clad Morpheus in the cultural phenomenon The Matrix, a where he brought in the back-to-back -back sequels. His other outstanding credits in the 2000s and 2010s include Contagion, Mission Impossible 3, Men of Steel, Batman vs Superman, Dawn of Justice, Ant-Man and the Wasp, and the John Wick film series. On television, he stars Dr. Raymond Langston on the CBS crime drama CSI, Crime Scene Investigation, 
and a special agent Jack Crawford in the NBC thriller series Hannibal, and his fur pops Johnson in the ABC sitcom Blackish. With an acting career that's spanning decades, Lauren Fishburne is one of the most respected and esteemed actresses alive today. Let's take a look at his 10 highest rated films on Rotten Tomatoes. The Tuskegee Airmen, 1995. The Matrix, 1999. Mystic River, 2003. Ant-Man and the Wasp, 2018. John Wick Chapter 2, 2017 John Wick Chapter 3, Parabellum, 2019 What's Love Got to Do With It, 1993 Boys in the Hood, 1991 Apocalypse Now, 1979 Searching for Bobby Fischer, 1993 As of 2022, Lawrence Fishburne has an estimated net worth of $30 million. Fishburne is currently set to serve as co-creator and executive producer in the Marvel Animation, Walt Disney Television Animation series Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. On February 24, 2007, Fishburne was honored with the Harvard Foundation's Artist of the Year Award at the annual show Cultural Rhythms. He received his honors for his achievements as an actor and entertainer and for his humanitarian pursuits. Fishburne is the UNICEF ambassador. Fishburne is a big fan of Brazilian author Paulo Coelho and plans to produce a movie based on his novel, The Alchemist. So how do you think about him? Leave a comment and let us know. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to support our channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the upcoming videos on the Molly P channel.